Hey up everyone, it's me Steph the Alter Nerd here on Upview AI and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you guys the three steps that you can take to make sure that your viewers watch your videos right from the beginning to the very end because the longer your viewers watch your videos the more that YouTube knows that your videos are of great quality and they'll push you even further into the algorithm that will get you more views, more subscribers and ultimately more of that YouTube money in your back pocket and stay tuned until the very end of this video because I will be explaining to you guys how Upview AI can help you and your channel get even more subscribers, views and more of that YouTube money in your back pocket. With that being said though, let's jump into it, shall we? So the first step that you need to make in order to ensure that your viewers watch your videos from beginning to the end is ensuring that your title and your thumbnails completely Gucci. Now, let me show you some examples from my own channel. Steph the Alter Nerd. Now, when it comes to thumbnails, first and foremost, you need to make sure that they are unique, that they stand out from the rest of the pack. I do it by branding my thumbnails. Now, what do I mean by that? You'll firstly notice that in the top left-hand corner, there's my logo. My logo is the colours of blue and green. I point that out because you'll also notice the border of blue and green all around my thumbnail. This ensures that my thumbnail thumbnail stands out from the rest of the pack when my viewers look into their subscription feed, see all these thumbnails and all of a sudden, pow! Mine jump out, because not that many creators use borders around their thumbnails. So it makes mine more unique. By making it more unique, it allows the viewer to, you know, gently be guided towards eyeballing my thumbnail and essentially clicking on it. Now, the next thing you'll notice when it comes to my thumbnails are the images that I use. The bigger, the better, right? I know, that's what she said. But it's true. Look at the images that I'm using. They are big. Now, why do I say the bigger the better? Well, you need to understand that when it comes to your viewers, not only are they going to be watching your videos on a computer or a laptop, but they're also going to be watching your videos on a tiny little mobile phone device. So you need to compensate for that so that even with viewers on a mobile phone device, they'll be able to see your thumbnail clock it in two seconds, know exactly what it's about and be attracted to click on it and therefore watch your video. When it comes to text on a thumbnail, the less the better. Again, it's all about looking at a glance at a thumbnail and in two seconds being able to decipher what that video is about and ultimately get that viewer to then click on your thumbnail and watch your video. Now, the other half of it is the title. Now, I choose a maximum of two words right at the beginning uh, that's emotive and captures the viewer's attention. Now, let me show you an example of this. Now, this is a video that I did about three days ago as of the recording of this video right here. And this video actually got me 17,000 views and counting. You'll see here that, yeah, right at the beginning in capital letters to grab the viewer's attention even further, humiliating. One word, that's it to grab them by the throat and reel them in, right? Uh, for the rest of the title, I make sure that it's something that's trending and has high scoring keywords, guys, uh, that people are searching for. Now, high scoring keywords, that's going to vary in terms of what you're reporting on and what your channel's niche is. Now, for my channel's niche, it's all about royal news and gossip. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Oh my goodness, are they high scoring keywords? Why? Because people are searching for them all the time. You'll also notice that in my title, this example here, I'm not just saying Meghan and Harry snubbed again, I'm using their full names. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. So a little bit of a tip for you guys, whoever you are talking about, try and use their full full name in the title because more often than not people actually search for that person's full name that then when you use their full name attracts more viewers more subscribers and more youtube money in your back pocket right now the next step that you guys need to take is 
getting them on the hook. So they've clicked on your video, but now you've got to give them a reason as to why they should watch the whole video in the first place, right? So let me put you on to, again, my, uh, my example, my channel here. On every single video, I do what's called a pre-intro. It lasts 20 30 seconds tops, right? And I give essentially an overview of what the video is going to be about, right? Um, so essentially, I'll turn around and I'll ask a question that I know my viewers will want to know the answer to. Uh, I then ask them to subscribe and stay tuned on the video for more. So in this video, I turned around and I said something along the lines of, oh my goodness, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been snubbed from yet another award show what has happened well stay tuned for more blah 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 right and it goes on and so the pre-intro is essentially uh presenting the information overall and asking a question that i know my viewers want answered so that essentially makes them want to stay even longer on the video to watch it from start to finish and then when you get them in and they're watching your video you need to make sure for the third and final step that you keep it structured tell it like a story beginning middle and end right make sure that what you're saying is exactly clear make sure that your audio is also extremely clear because if it's not guys the viewers are going to turn off. It is absolutely not a fallacy to say that audio is more important than visuals. It really, really is. If your audio is not great, people are going to switch off straight away. Even if your visuals, even if you're using a webcam that's just 720p, right? Doesn't matter. If your audio isn't on point, they are going to switch off no matter what. So you really need to take care of your audio. Another thing that I do to ensure that my viewers stay from beginning to the end is that I make sure that throughout the video, the scenes change, the screen changes. Um, so it's not just the same screen of me just like this talking to you guys because visually that can be unappealing, that can be extremely boring. So you need to make the video more dynamic and you need to make sure that the screens change in order to keep your viewers' attention. So you'll see here in my video example that I'm showing you, you know, I change the screen so here we go showing you one screen of the national television awards for example uh based on the topic that i was discussing in this video changing to an article that i'm referencing and i'm giving my commentary on uh to another article that again i'm commenting and referencing on ensure that you are changing your screens changing what the viewer is seeing every few seconds to ensure that you keep them interested and you keep them visually engaged and then you get to the end uh, of your video right and you need to make sure first and foremost that you do ask them to subscribe like share and comment don't be shy get them to interact with your channel in those variety of ways and make sure that there is an end card with another video that you know that they're going to be interested in and a playlist because it's not just about getting them to watch your video from beginning to end but it's also about do you know what you like this video click on this video so they watch even more of your content here on YouTube. And so, yeah, that is the three simple steps that you guys need to take to ensure that your viewers watch your videos literally from beginning to end. You need to make sure, step one, that your title and your thumbnail is completely Gucci. Step two, you need to make sure that your pre-intro is on 
point. And step three, you need to make sure that throughout the rest of your video, it is structured, that your audio is on point and that you are visually engaging and dynamic and fun for the viewer to watch. Uh, with that being said, I did mention at the beginning of this video for you guys to stay right to the end because I'd be telling you how Upview can help you and your YouTube channel get more views, subscribers, and yes, even more of that YouTube money in your back pocket. So what you guys need to do in order to get all of that is go on to upview.online today and join our waitlist. Uh, by joining our waitlist, you will then be one of the first YouTubers to get your mitts on our Upview AI app as soon as it's released. Through the power of AI, we are going to help you with your titles, your thumbnails, content ideas, what tags to use, what keywords to use. We will help you with all of that through the power of AI. So if that's a good idea, and of course it is, why wouldn't you think so? Get your sends over to upview.online right now. Join our waitlist today so you can be one of the first to get your mitts on this wonderful app that we are developing for you right now as soon as it is released. Uh, thank you so, so much for tuning in to today video. I appreciate all your faces. On your way out, do make sure you're subscribed to this channel and stay tuned for more content in the future. Laters! Bye!